Hi everybody, it's Mr. Bates here. Today, we're gonna to be learning all about line graphs, how we create them, and what information is it telling us when we look at them. Don't forget, we've got an interactive section later on in the video where you will need a piece of paper and a pen to join in at home or at school. So sit back, relax, and get ready for some maths. Here we go. A line graph is used to show change over time. For example, if you wanted to know the temperature in a room over a week, um, you could plot these points on a line graph to see the arc and how it changed every single day. With a line graph, we plot points or marks or X's sometimes, um, and they're joined together with a straight line. Graphs ideally show us a, a visual representation of what we're trying to show. So if you're trying to show something that happens throughout the year, a line graph would be a really great way of being able to display that information. There are five main points of a line graph. They are the y-axis that goes up and down, the x-axis that goes left to right. You've also got the title, really, really important, the source and the data, obviously the information that we need to put in there and where it's come from, and the legend, which is vital to showing you what each line means. So let's take a look at creating a line graph now. So here we go, we've got some data here represented in a chart and we're going to put that into a very rough line graph for you today. So we've got the days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and the newspapers delivered. So we need to put uh, a y-axis, here we go, and an x-axis. Along the bottom I'm going to put the days, uh, I'm just going to abbreviate this uh, because I'm doing this uh, on a computer uh, and it's not very detailed as I write it out. Yeah. Obviously if you do this on a bit of paper it's a bit better. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and I'll just put a little mark on the beginning of each one of those. And we need that increments going up the side and um, we're going to go from 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 and 22. Okay, I've done this very roughly on mine, but obviously if you were doing this on a piece of paper, on a piece of line graph paper, uh, or if you're doing this in an exercise book, please make sure you use a ruler and measure them out exactly. So the first one would be Monday, and it's 14, 14 newspapers delivered. So I'd look on Monday and go all the way up to 14 and put a little X. Tuesday's 15, so I'd go all the way up from Tuesday to where it's 15, if I look there, or well, it's in between 14 and 16, so I'm going to put a little mark there. Wednesday is 17, so I'm going to go up to 16, it's one more, so I'm going to go halfway in between 16 and 17. Thursday was 19, whoop, uh, about there, and Friday's 22. Whoop. Wicked! Now all you do is draw a line between each one of those points, like this. So from 0 to the 14, there we go, and across, up over obviously you'd use a ruler at home um, but that gives you a rough understanding of what a line graph would look like we'd obviously need the uh, titles of the axes on the bottom and on the side and of course you'd need a title on the top as well and there we have it a very rough line graph for you today so here's a little challenge for you to do at home or at school all you're going to need is a piece of paper and a pen and a ruler uh, or you could do this on a whiteboard if you'd like to as well um, here we go, number of whales in the area of an ocean. So there's our number of whales. You can see the chart and the information there. Um, it's already been done for you, but what you're going to need to do is answer the questions on the right-hand side. So have a little look at the chart and have a look at the questions that are needed to be answered there. Uh, if you're at school, teacher, pause this video. If you're at home, hit that pause button and give this a go by yourself. Before I do, I'm just going to move myself out of the way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to sit up here. There we go. Right. Click pause and give these ones a go. Off you go. Fantastic stuff. Hey, that's line graphs. I hope you're a little bit more clear about how we use a line graph and the data that we can read in them. All these statistics are great for our brains. Well done, everybody. Give yourself a big marshmallow clap. Hey, yeah. Excellent. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you get updated whenever we upload a video. That's all we've got time for for today, but we'll see you next time here on Mr. Bates Creates. See you later. Bye.